Hi. <laughs> Hi, everyone. This is Karen Newman, and this is the Saturday Human Colony Hukalo webinar. Today, we have a very special guest, Lou Martin. I'll introduce him in just a moment. But this is Human Colony, and you can find us on hukalo.org. Uh, you can become a paid member of Human Colony, which means that you always have access, first access, and front row seats to all of our channeling webinars every Saturday for $10 a month. And you can go to hukalo.org. And coming up, we have the Ascension World workshop that will take place August 16th through the 21st in New York. The cost is $400, and for that we will be doing channeling classes, uh, galactic Reiki, and you will be working together with Jim and Max. So check that out on hukalo.org. Okay, in the room today, I'll just to tell you who we have, and I want to go through it, and I need my glasses. We have Tarek, uh, Steve, Stephanie, Michelle, Jesse, Don, Christine, and Charlie, and of course, our new friend, our channeling friend, Lou Martin. Hi, Lou. How are you? Great, Karen. So glad to be here with you, my friend, and all your conscious buddies here. It's exciting to be here. Thank you. Well, we're, we're very excited to, um, to have you. Why don't you tell us about who you are, how you started channeling, and what you, what does you generally talk about? Sure thing. A pleasure. Um, so my story is uh, kind of uh, interesting. Uh, in um, uh, right as I turned thirty in uh, August of uh, 1987, uh, just before the Harmonic Convergence, I was working in a spiritual bookstore in Santa Monica, California, and reading about the New Age and metaphysics and all these things. And uh, I'd been and I started practicing meditation again. And um, I uh, was guided by a friend to work with a piece of crystal. And he told me about this thing called Kundalini energy. And um, so he said, if you meditate with this crystal, you might open your Kundalini energy. And would you know, the first time I did that, that's exactly what happened. So I had this spiritual awakening, the spontaneous Kundalini awakening, where the energy shot up my spine and out the top of my head. And I had a real cosmic consciousness, orgasmic, unconditional loving uh, experience with the universe. And I was uh, in an altered state for the next uh, week. And um, that happened right before what was called uh, the harmonic convergence, which was a time of global spiritual awakening for many people on the planet, uh, including myself, it turns out. And um, during that time, I was invited to uh, meet and to work with uh, one of my spirit guides, uh, an entity named Lazarus who uh, channels through a man named Jack Purcell. So I've been working uh, with them and with spirit uh, in this way for the last 30 years. And in uh, five years into that process, I took a class in opening to channel uh, and I got activated from another uh, teacher and healer. And uh, ever since May of 1992, I've been working with the same energy, helping people to listen to trust and follow our loving and wise inner guidance. That's amazing. So, because there's a lot, a lot of people that ask about Kundalini. So, can you please explain what that is and, and how it works? How do you know if it's been awakened? That kind of thing. Sure. Yeah. Well, you definitely know uh, because it's a real before and after experience. Um, uh, Kundalini is, is uh, I guess, the Hindu name for chi or prana or life force energy or spirit. And in the body, it resides in the base chakra. And uh, the very simple truth, and, and honestly, what I work with in, in all my sessions and groups is we need to open our hearts to a greater sense of love and compassion and acceptance. So when you do that, uh, the heart is the, the bridge between the, the higher chakras and the lower chakras or the higher self and the lower self. And when the heart opens in love and compassion and acceptance, then if it's uh, your your destiny or what have you, if, if it's that gift of grace, then this awakening can happen. It's not required uh, for everyone to have this experience. And I have no idea why this happened in my life, but I'm just very grateful that it did. And I know for a lot of other people, it's um, it's been a powerful uh, gift. I, I think you said something it, it, uh, important there about that it's not necessarily necessary to have your Kundalini awaken. I know that people ask for it, they want it, they seek it out. Do you think, do you have the feeling that you can make it a goal or is it something that spontaneously happens? It sounds like yours was a spontaneous awakening. Should it be a goal to have a Kundalini awakening or should it be the heart uh, opening? Well, 
Yeah, you know, and does that yeah, trigger yeah. it? Yeah. yeah, that does. That's, that's it's that's, it's this paradox, uh, you know, which we spoke about yesterday. Um, mm -hmm. and there is our will, obviously, and there is the will of God or or higher self, and so we can knock on the door, but they are going to open the door if that is uh, a part of our path and if that's helpful to us in our growth. The the challenge for all of us is, you know, we tend to project the power is outside of us and right. we tend to, uh, you know, give our power away. I love the quote from Alice Walker who says the most common way people uh, lose their power is by thinking that they don't have any. So to, to take it in and to work with it, I've been, as I said, meditating for a long time now since, since that happened. So the more we go within, uh, the less we go without, the more we heal ourselves, the more we're able to help each other to heal. So I, I think it's a, a situation of giving to ourselves what we're wanting life to give to us. So for the person that's listening to this and they're saying, okay, how do I know if my Kundalini's awakened? You say you will know basically you will yeah. know if, if it yeah. is yeah. yeah you will yeah so uh, yeah it's like sorry. What would be, go no on. go ahead no go ahead after you no i was gonna just say if you were gonna give a because a lot of times we, we talk about concepts and then there's no sort of practical uh how do you get there kind of if, if you were to give what i'm trying to get to is if you were to give someone of where do i start my spiritual journey and and everyone here is on their path but but just for people who are saying okay what is this kundalini what is this what is this thing about awakening my heart if they were to start somewhere from wherever they are right now what would be their first thing that you would have them do sure so here's what i channel from my guides great question there are four steps for everyone four tools for everyone to work with every day meditation prayer or affirmation, journaling, and anything that inspires you. Uh, the quote from my guides, which I've said many times, and I'd love, love to share it here again, is the heart knows what the mind struggles to believe. And so this is the paradox. Who we are deep inside of us is uh, a conscious being. Who we are in the illusion of separation of the mind and the body is is this illusion of separation so uh the quote here again from my guides anything that opens our heart quiets our mind and awakens our spirit and so the fourth one about finding and following our inspiration that is the voice of spirit in our life and in our inner guidance and as we do that then we do begin to transcend this illusion of separation of the mind and the world Okay, that's beautiful. I, I agree with you 100%. I, what I hear from people is, oh, I can't meditate. Right. I, I can't, yeah. Well, yeah, no, that's, I'm delighted. That this is just so exciting to get to chat about. <laughs> um, I'm giving so, you all the answers I, I've heard before. I can't meditate. Sure, I can't do it. Sure, sure. It doesn't work for me. Sure. Christine's laughing. See, she said it to me before. Look at her. Look at her face. Sure. Well, the, <laughs> the, the thing is, meditation is probably the single most powerful tool we have to heal and awaken. And so uh, what we tend to do, I find this in my clients as well, uh, people, uh, everyone tends to be in general too hard on themselves, right? And demanding too much of themselves and feeling frustrated if they can't see progress or feel like they're getting it right. And the what I wanna say is if you can let all of that go by the wayside and just practice patience and persistence and the, the essence of meditation is not that you have a, an enlightened state or your kundalini awakening or you start uh, channeling or whatever. That's wonderful. But it, it comes through uh, the daily practice of just being present in yourself and being at peace. So anything you can do, letting your thoughts move through you, focusing on the breath, listening to music, guided meditations, anything you can do to quiet the mind is going to help that process. That, you know, my, my teacher, she says that the devotion is the practice. That's right. The, sometimes, okay. sometimes in the meditation, it's only just about re bringing your mind back to center, bringing it back and just that practice of doing that and doing that and doing. Sometimes you have amazing experiences where you go off into the netherworld of yeah. netherworlds. And sometimes it's just trying to just sit there for your allotted time right. and not give up. Right. You right. Know? And, and the devotion itself is the practice. That's yes. The, yeah. Yes, sweetheart. I'm sorry. I was just so excited here again, Karen. Yeah. Um, I love talking about this. So, yay. Yes. Me, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I live for these moments. No, no exaggeration, truly so, uh, to share what I've been learning for 30 years with people that are 
genuinely interested. What, I, what I'm so excited about is I love the word devotion as well because it's a much more organic, feminine, spiritual word rather than discipline which is much more uh, of an external proving something, demonstrating something, achieving something. And so like you're saying here, this is to me the feminine energy of the process is the result and the mm -hmm. devotion to the process is the, the faith in the outcome. Whereas the masculine tends to be again, more externally driven and, and looking for results to prove that the process works. Oh, I was saying that I will write this down. I, Thank you. I love that. Okay. Thank you. I didn't have Karen's mic there. Thanks, Christine. Karen, you're muted. Oh, I'm muted. That's why I'm trying to talk. What I was going to say is if you agree, and, and or maybe you can agree that, you know, in the in the practice of meditation, in the practice of, of these daily practices, um, it's like if you start to dig a wall, do, dig, dig a hole, you know, you can't go deeper until you've started that initial, That's right. That's right. you know, digging. That's and right. maybe you go a millimeter deeper than you did the day before. But if you look back over time, the process is so much more, uh, it, it, you know, it, it, it grows and grows. But you can't ever get there unless you start. And it's cumulative. Yes. It's really cumulative. Yes. And, and that's one of the the uh, things that is, I think at this moment, one of the most important messages that the people can get is is about that the, the work that, and I, I call it the work, and maybe that's, um, how do you call it, that, that makes it seem um, not interesting. <laughs> but the, but the, the process is the practice. And, and the, the message is now, and I hear it coming from many, many teachers, not only channelers, but spiritual teachers as well, the big universal message that is coming out now is the, is the practice, start your practice. And because it's so individual, I can tell you all of the wonderful realms of consciousness that I visited. And until you have the experience, it's only just hearsay. Yeah. It's only hearsay. And so yeah, yeah. And maybe you can talk about it because you said you've been really dedicatedly uh, meditating, and you know, how has your practice grown? How has it changed for you? And, and and where are you say now versus where you were when you first started? It's probably light years difference. Yes, yes. Um, yeah. Thank God it is. Um, but it's also uh, like you're saying, uh, humbling, um, uh, frustrating. Um, you know, uh, very human. Um, my guides say uh, to be focused on it, uh, focused like a laser beam to the process, but detached to the outcome. And, and this is the great challenge for all of us is uh, we want results because we get attached to the idea that the results are going to prove to us that what we have faith in and what we're trusting and what we're devoted to is worthy of our time. So, you know, really in this dramatic and exciting time that we're all living in and co-creating together, uh, you know, there's this great battle between the head and the heart and, and between the masculine and the feminine energies on the planet, you know, and that's why, you know, um, uh, spiritual awakening is a process of surrender. You don't achieve something, you don't prove something, you don't demonstrate something, you come back to a deeper sense of trusting who you really are at a core level. The, um, I was I was laughing about the proof, you know. People want the proof, and it, and and the thing is, is that even the proof that you get in one moment can be way different than the proof you get at another moment, because well, your ability to comprehend and experience expands, and it and it tr changes you. So you, it's a road you have to walk. Yes. If you don't walk it, you don't get it, and you you have to take the first step, and you have to keep walking. That's right. You have to keep going. Yeah. That's right. It's completely subjective, what we call proof. Yeah. Yeah. And not only is it su subjective, but it can be completely different. And the thing that when we're talking about the practice, I wanted to say it, it's, it's non-dogmatic. It doesn't have to be about any religion, but it's, it's, it's your own connection to right. your own, whatever it is that you are connected to. And that's, yes. 
again, completely individual. It's not about that it's this person's God or it, it's, it's, it's not, it doesn't have to be God. It can be whatever, whatever you are in awe of, or you can just do it to just to see what happens, but there will be something that happens. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we are, yeah. you know, we are spiritual yeah. beings having a human experience. And every one of us has the same personal connection to God, source, spirit as everyone else. It's just that yeah. we have forgotten that. Uh, my guides say, you've created a dream that's so real, you've forgotten that you've created it, and you've forgotten that it's a dream. But this is the lifetime where we wake up and remember how we create our reality consciously and lovingly. And that there's- Did you ever read- did you ever read A Course in Miracles? I study the course every day. Okay. What is the very, and, and this is the part that I love, but the very first thing of The Course in Miracles that this is a required course. Right. You know, because and you have free will doesn't mean you can set the agenda. Exactly. And the fact is that everyone will do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that's, and then what is the main, you know, what you said about nothing that is real can be threatened, nothing unreal exists. And, but this is a required course for me when right. it, when I read that and I got it, I was like, okay, that's it. Everyone will do this work. There is nothing, you can't get away from it. Right. Right. You can, right. you can, uh, you can wait, but eventually right. Right. you'll do the work. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The last part to the last line there absolutely is herein lies the peace of God. Nothing yeah, therein. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So, so when, again, about meditation, uh, it's like, you know, we, we go through all these responsibilities and rituals and routines every day. Yeah. And uh, I, I say again, I, 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 like, just like you're saying about the course, uh, I feel like meditation is just the greatest gift uh, that's available to us because it costs nothing, it takes a little bit of time, and it is a way to literally press the reset button in your consciousness every day. And because the vibration of the planet is getting higher and higher, in this process of ascension and awakening, we mm -hmm. are, as you said, we are being asked to um, to let go of our illusions and to come into the truth, whatever that is for each person. It's different for everyone, but that well, the, yeah. the the truth was always going to include love because that is where our peace comes from. Yeah, yeah I, I wanted to just add. I didn't want because um, yeah. I'm excited. This is a fun conversation. Yes. Um, that. <laughs> <laughs> It's always fun. The the one thing that that uh, that when we talk about meditation and we talk about frequency and we talk about vibration, that's what we are. Yes. And we come equipped with the tools to connect. That's right. So everyone's always running around asking, you know, other people, you know, is there messages for me? Do what should I do? How do I get? The, but we have within our very being everything that we need to have the connection to the greater part of us, the larger part of us, the universe, which is us, yes. you know, and the, how, how, how amazingly perfectly brilliant of, of a design could it be that the only thing that we need to, to, to connect is ourselves. We don't need tools. We don't need vibral beats. We don't need, I mean, we can use those things. Those are also tools of the vibration, yep. but we just have, everything. So how exciting, and it seems to be that that sometimes is the last thing we look to, the very thing that is just us, yes. you know, we yes. run around, <laughs> we look at everything else, sure. but it's, it's here, it's all here, it's all, I mean, and it's literally like right here. Yes. I mean, you can't get much closer to you than you. Yes. So, yes. yeah. That's yeah. Right. That's right. I find that really exciting. I think that's a revelation in and of itself that, that as a being, as a human being, you have nothing to do or to look out to other than your own ability to close your eyes if, if you need to, but, but make sound, tone, frequency, whatever it is you do to get into the meditative state. I think that's incredible. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So. Well, I, I see some people's questions, you know, and it's, it's, um, it's, this is, um, what I want to say, you know, I, I love what you're saying, and it, clearly you and I are cut from the same cloth, my friend, and I'm sure uh, many of us here are, are experiencing similar things or are going to be in the near future. Um, the, what I want to add to this is, uh, like, I'm also a fan of Eckhart Tolle and mm -hmm. uh, of Byron Katie and um, uh, of other teachers out there that are really, uh, Matt Kahn and other people, who are really helping people to look at uh, the consciousness, the ego, 
you know, uh, the defensiveness, the drama, uh, the resistance, uh, you know, all these kinds of energies that um, keep pulling us out of our peace. And the, the, the thing is, as we're saying here, and, you know, we'll experience this today, when, when we can um, quiet the mind and open the heart, then your spirit, who is who you are, comes back into your experience, as you're just describing, Karen. And mm -hmm. you see, it's as Abraham says, it's like holding a, a ball under the water. The moment you let go of your resistance, you're going to come back to your natural state. Um, right. The challenge is, of course, we live in a very anti-spiritual world, you know, mm -hmm. which, which is ambivalent or dogmatic, as you said, about having a loving higher power or, or not, and how each of us react to that or relate to that or not. So it, within all this freedom that we have right now with the internet and all this, there's also a lot of chaos and confusion. So, you know, again, it's such a wonderful uh, joy for me to connect with your group here and yourself, because, you know, this really is the leading edge of consciousness on the planet, as far as I'm concerned. And so we're really going first into this uncharted territory that humanity has not been for thousands of years. And to let go of our attachments and resistance and judgments, uh, it takes great courage. It does take big courage. Take and big courage and ooh, I'm having oh, feedback. I'm having feedback. Who's, who needs to be muted? Who, who just came in? Okay, they're gone. All right. Uh, it takes big courage, and I'm having some... Can someone check on the people to make sure that they stay muted? Okay. Uh, it does take big courage, it, it, but it's exciting as well. And it's, yeah. it's just a thing of love. You know, we came into a world that was designed specifically to allow us to be in a forgetful state so that we could have the experience of being in a world that we were in a forgetful state. But wow. we are, like you said, now we're in the space where we're waking up to that. And that's also the experience that we came here. We came here to have the experience of being in a world where we didn't know who we are and then now waking up to who we are. Yeah. So yeah. how very exciting for it. Michelle had a statement and maybe while we're, before you start channeling, maybe we could, cause it's lovely to talk to you. I uh, also, you know, yeah, in your, you. your waking <laughs> states. So Michelle, yeah. why don't you ask yeah. your, you make your statement or your, ask your question. And if we want to have a sort of discussion about it, my cat jumped up and this is his tail. Very um, nice. <laughs> yeah. Hi Michelle. This is monkey. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Go ahead. So like yesterday uh, I spent the day, listening to um, different, I don't know, musical things or doing um, hypnosis type things. Like, because I feel like I've been in a really stuck place and I know, right. like intellectually, I know I have all the makings for, I can get my own information. This, I believe it a hundred percent. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, and I've experienced it even but Good. I've been in a weird place for a few months, so. Sure. So so I just really have been intending, I'm like, this is ridiculous, Michelle. You can get your own answers. You can get your own information. Just tap in. Okay, we're going to tap in. Bless you. And, <laughs> and, and <laughs> so I do the time and nothing. Yeah. And nothing. Yeah. And I nothing. hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Can I help you? Yes, please. All right, I hope so. I hope so. I think so, Michelle. <laughs> Sweetheart, you have a, you have a beautiful open heart, and and as I said earlier, the greatest challenge for all of us is when we are hard on ourselves. And and as uh, um, Karen was mentioning, the Course in Miracles, this is to me one of the things you'll hear me talk about a lot, both me and my guides channeling. Self forgiveness is a way of softening our uh, and opening back into our receptivity. And so it's not that we've done something bad or wrong or we need to feel guilty. It's compassion and mercy and acceptance. And that, that softens uh, our, our space inside of ourselves, and that opens us up to be able to receive again. When, if I'm demanding, you know, there's the phrase, I cannot storm heaven. This is true, <laughs> right? You understand? So you're asking for grace. You're asking for peace. You're asking for inspiration. So you have to... But I'm also actually sending myself Ho'oponopono. Like, I mean, I'm doing that also. Okay. Are you believing, <laughs> are you believing that you're worthy of being forgiven and loved unconditionally? Of course. 
Well, that's of course. Well, yes, of course you think. <laughs> yes, you see, my friend, this is the paradox. This is the paradox. See, the moments you're not trying to prove something, it demonstrates itself. Does it make sense? Yes. All right, and you are very tuned in, my friend. Uh, so yeah, it's, and it's good. I'm sorry. I love you. Please forgive me. Thank you. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, anything that helps you to be more self-loving and self-accepting is going to help you receive your answers. Does it make sense? Yeah. Well, it does make sense. It's just, um, okay. All right. So, yeah. so I am aware that I have looked I keep looking, I've been looking outward, looking outward, looking outward. So I've been trying to back off and go inward, 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 inward. Yeah. And I don't know. Maybe I do hear the answers and I just don't recognize it. I'm not sure. But it's certainly not obvious. Well, no, it isn't obvious, you see. Um, uh, you, you know, as Abraham says, I'm a big fan of Abraham. You can't, I cannot focus on the absence of something and manifest its presence. You hear the difference? Yes. Okay. So for me, the, what I want to add to self-forgiveness for everyone here is gratitude. My guides say prayer is a spiritual technology that begins in humility. God, this is what I'm asking for, source spirit, whatever name you like, goddess. And gratitude says, I'm grateful. I know it's done. Yes. Okay. So I would just invite you to more gratitude and, and trusting that you are what you've been doing is preparation for what you're working on and asking for. <laughs> That's funny. I wake up every morning now and I do gratitude first. Good. First. See, you're on the case. You're, you're getting good guidance. Yeah. Yeah. Rarely does God, you know, give us a billboard saying, here's proof. You know, it's a, it's a whisper. It's a, it's a love song that you were thinking about. And there it is on the radio. It's, it's magic. It's grace. You see, Yes. Just okay. keep keep knowing that you you're on your path and you you deserve it and and you're you're grateful that it's it's on its way. Thank you. Does it make sense? You're welcome. I hope that helps. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. I mean, it's what I'm practicing, so I just keep doing it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If, if if you're inspired, if you're inspired, see, my guides have all these funny sayings. You'll hear all of them today. Uh, we would like you to act out of inspiration not desperation mm, i like that one thank you thank you <laughs> feel free to use it yeah you know? okay believe me i i have to i get to work with this every day myself so we're in the same boat my friend and it, maybe there maybe there could be something said about the time frame because we are uh in a time in, in our ability to perceive we 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 do have we have several nuances of the multidimensional, no, there is no time which which we can experience when we're in our sort of higher perspective, and then sure. we have the three D part of us walking around that can look at a clock and sure. experience time. Sure. And when we're looking for answers of things, you know, yes. sometimes the answer comes much later, or maybe the answer is <laughs> that's the wrong way to say it. Maybe the understanding of what the answer is or has been or was the understanding of it comes into our consciousness much later but well, just because we don't have like the specific okay is it a or b answer it doesn't mean that the answer is not in fact there for us coming to us and that we should say oh i'm failing in in getting the answer do you know what i'm saying well Yes, yeah, sweetheart, you, we don't need to overthink it. I hear you. It's very, you know, it's very good what you're saying, Karen, honestly. But, you know, what the Course teaches us, from my understanding of it, is that God has dominion over time and space. So, yes. so okay. So when we affirm that we're in alignment to our prayer or our request, God agrees with us and says, now you hold that vibration, Lou, and I will demonstrate it to you in the perfect time in the perfect way. That's what I mean. Thank that's you. that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Thank that, you. That, okay. Well, that's what I was trying to say. Just the fact that our time is not God's time. Our timing, what our our need for proof and assurance and yes. uh, 
proof is the best word is is beyond sometimes how do you i want to say our sort of desire or need to see it it's the faith kind yes, of idea i hear you yeah. no it's, it's good yeah. i understand what you're saying it's yeah we have the small picture and god source spirit has the big picture and and mm -hmm. the word the word proof to my mind you know i have to remember this myself i promise you i need to keep substituting for trust which is yeah. you know what i you know as the as jesus says in the bible it is done unto you as you believe so right. we, will we will prove to ourselves what we are imagining desiring and expecting right okay i always had the impression that law of attraction gave even the law of attraction has always been a law and but it came into popularity again after it had been in the popularity in the early part of the century um but as it's spoken about now it became focused on getting stuff and instant manifestation and things like that and where the law is law it's always a law it's always true it's always right. it's always right. happening right. um but when I listen to Michelle, I what what I'm trying to get to is the idea of there's no failure in it's the never work wrong. that's being it's never done. Wrong. Yeah, no. it's always it's giving, just, us, it's, giving us. What yeah, we're it's the out. understanding of where we are in the moment and being able to say, okay, I'm at peace in this moment right now, and all I have is this now, and I'm going to hang on that. Right. I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna make my hang time and my peace and love and joy as long as possible. Yes, good. And good. and for the rest, you know, it is what it is until it isn't, until well, I see different. But, yes. but I'm gonna trust what I know to be true. Good. Do you, you know what yes. I mean? That, yes, that's, that's what I'm trying to uh because yes. you don't want the blame game to happen because you know, a lot of people, oh, I must not be I must not be manifesting well enough or i must not be doing this well enough because i'm not getting this result and it's so not about that right 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 can that's I what I'm, that's what i'm trying to say yes, yes 100%. Uh, yeah, no, it's wonderful no no it's great I, again this is a great conversation i hope everyone's enjoying it as much as you and i are um you don't get what you ask for you get what you are That was that that was landing for a lot of people. Why don't you say that again? Sure. We don't get what we ask for. We we get the reflection of what we are. So so like with Michelle, if I can keep my focus on inspiration, thank you. <laughs> There's an amen. Uh, then I can, as you said, or gra see love, joy, appreciation, and gratitude. Those are the four most powerful energies that we have, and they're basically all synonymous. They're all connected to each other. So. So I, we know as human beings, thank you, it's hard, it's a great challenge. We're all going through our challenges right now. Every one of us has challenges. The, the gift of a spiritual practice is peace of mind. And it doesn't mean that we have a solution to every problem. It means we have a connection within us that is the doorway to invite the solution to every problem. And what, what we're practicing with, uh, with coming back to peace is as my guides say, we're we're holding the space of infinite possibilities. So to to be a mystic is to learn to live from the inside out. To be a normal human is to continue to try to live from the outside in. I I think that that was perfect. Great. That's where I wanted to go. <laughs> That's it. good. We got there. Yeah. We got there. Yay. Thank you. So I'm gonna let me set this so that you're set on permanent. Uh, okay. Thing. I'm working with two computers. I've got two control panels going. So if you want. Um, we will uh you can we can channel you can channel yes now? It's, it's definitely yes, channeling time. time okay and uh so just for everyone that's watching we do have room in the uh in the google room i put it in the um youtube chat if anybody wants to come in they're welcome um we'll be taking questions and yeah okay we will okay. we'll see Great. you when you get back and, and uh who <laughs> Who are you channeling then? Do you do you have an entity you channel, or is it just your higher knowing, or? It's my higher self and higher and self. guides. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I call them divine love. Perfect. Okay. Well, we and, we look okay. forward to speaking to divine love. Then. Thank you, dear. And this would be a good moment for us to send healing to Jim. Yes. Okay. Yes. And everyone. Any, yeah. Anyone in our lives, including ourselves, that we're wanting uh, a healing for blessings for.
Okay. All right. All right. Yep. Okay. So everyone, uh, just to keep Jim Charles in your thoughts, he's got uh, a respiratory infection uh, and it's, it's pretending to be pneumonia that's visiting him. So we're going to ask it to, uh, to leave and maybe right. go, go back to where, from where it came. But we yeah, send Jim much love. Yeah. I'll, I'll let my guides uh, do that with us here. Okay. okay. Very good. So go ahead, uh, Karen. Thank you. And everyone, if you'd like to close your eyes, take a deep breath, please. All right, dear friends, God bless you. Yeah, here we come. Imagine, if you will, yeah, it's wonderful to be here. What a beautiful, beautiful gathering. Yeah, powerful, powerful times, dear friends. The energy of uh, love and light, yeah, bringing forth the energy of love and light into this uh, time and space, dear friends, yeah. You can call a spirit if you like. That's absolutely perfect, dear friends, yeah. We're going to bring a, in your mind's eye here to bless you and to bless your loved ones here, Jim and others. We're going to bring the energy down through imagining seven stars that represent our vibration. Spiral down through time and space in your mind's eye. Touch your crown. Take a deep breath. Relax and release. Down we go, dear friends. The seven centers, you know them well. Crown, the third eye, throat, and heart. Take another good breath. Relax and release. Down the will center, the tummy, the sacral, the root, the hips, the legs, the feet. Down into Mother Earth, dear friends. A pillar of light spiraling down. Take a deep breath. So, dear friends, in one focus here, we pour forth the energy of love and compassion, of healing and wisdom upon everyone hearing this message here today, understanding that this is not outside of you. But this is a voice within your own soul and spirit, dear friends. This is the voice, the voice of who you truly are in this lifetime of lifetimes, dear friends, the voice of peace and the voice of freedom. Take a deep breath. Dear friends, in alignment with your own free will, as always, we bless Jim and we bless everyone in this circle. And dear friends, we bless all your loved ones and we bless the whole wide world, dear friends, all of humanity. God bless you indeed, dear friends. We bless the minerals, the plants, the animals, and we bless the four elements, earth, air, fire, water. We bless the four directions, and we bless the sacred that is within and around, above and below, everyone and everything in this world, beginning with self, dear friends. Take a deep breath. In your heart of hearts, you know that all is well for you and your loved ones, and you let that gift guide you, uplift you, and heal you in accordance to your own free will, dear friends. With good for all and harm to none, it is so. So it is. We let it be. Take a deep breath. And there we are, dear friends. So it's a pleasure. Yeah, thank you so much. Dear ones, just a simple uh, introduction here for a few moments, and then we're happy to dance with all your questions and comments. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a great joy for us to be here with you. So, dear friends, you are a spiritual being having a human experience. You have a mind and a body. You are your soul and spirit. This is that time for you in this lifetime of lifetimes to really allow yourself permission as never before. To listen to, trust, and follow. God bless you, dear friends, your loving inner guidance. To truly know that life is for you and never against you that you are the victim of no one and nothing, dear friends. You are taking your power back and learning to joyously, deliberately, lovingly, and consciously co-create a life of fulfillment and a life of deep meaning, dear friends. Especially here for the women of the world, dear friends, it's a time of finding your voice and of sharing your vision and your values with the world and for everyone here, men and women. It's a time of deep healing, dear friends of opening your heart and letting go of the pain, the fear, the sorrow, the doubt, the judgments, yeah, the guilt, the shame, the blame, everything and anything that would hinder or inhibit, dear friends, the full and powerful expression of your spirit. Dear ones, you all have gifts, talents, and abilities that you long to express and to share with the whole wide world. We are here, spirit is here within you and all around you to support you and guide you as you will allow us to, in your spiritual practices, dear friends, to take time to go within and to come to peace as often and as deeply as possible. There is the doorway of infinite possibilities, dear friends, and there is the voice of inspiration. And dear ones, when you come back to peace, you will always be renewed and refreshed 
and you will step forth into a new world, dear friends, seeing with new eyes and living from the inside out, dear friends, shining your light and sharing your love. We love you so. Take a deep breath. So, Karen, dear friend, we put the ball in your court and we uh, ask for your guidance here, yeah? Okay, well, I, I just typed in there that uh, if there's any questions that the people can put a, a one in the chat and let me know, and then we'll start oh. with the questions. Um, the, the stargazer is asking who specifically are we speaking to, and from what we understand, uh, you are divine love. You're the guide, the guides, and the higher self of Lou. Right, dear friends, absolutely, yes. and you all have one. Yes, it's wonderful. See, uh, names are wonderful, dear friends. We know how our, our human uh, brothers and sisters love names and identities and personalities, and it's all very comfortable, and that's good. But m what's more important and what's, uh, what's here and uh, in the future is working with the vibration of not uh, being so necessarily attached, yeah, to people, places, things, and situations, dear friends, but more and more opening to, as you said, Karen, the vibration of things. And we absolutely know that you feel the vibration that we bring through in this, in this way. So you have this personal connection as you trust it, dear friends, it will bring forth uh, greater assistance, greater clarity, and all of that is a part of the gift of this time for everyone here, you understand. Thank you very much. And you're very welcome and we will welcome you to yeah to the Hikulo webinar. So it's Thank a pleasure to speak with you. We feel it. We feel mm -hmm. it, dear friends. Yeah, Very absolutely. Yeah. Um, uh, David had a question. We'll start with David. Hello. David. Hi, how are you? We're great, dear friend. How are you is the question, yeah? Uh, pretty good. There you go. I, um, I met someone a while back and um, Recently, she, um, wanted to see if you were able to help us. She mentioned that her daughter, about two, she thinks she may be astral traveling. Wow! And yeah. And she's concerned because she was waking up, uh, shaking like she was experiencing something a little scary, and she's trying to get a better understanding so she can help help her. And she, her daughter Sorry. seems to be very wise and eats only certain foods that are really healthy and. Yeah, seems pretty amazing. Can we have this girl's name, uh, David? Uh, Lizzie. All right, dear friend, one second here. Right, and the mother's name? That's oh, that's I don't know the daughter's name. That's the mother. All right, name. dear friend. All right, there we go. We cleared that up. All right, let's give us a moment here. Right. Well, David, you're a great, compassionate uh, friend to uh, this family, uh, dear friend. We would uh, say to Lizzie, for her daughter's sake, she's a crystal. Uh, child here clearly and uh yeah too boy she's do, doing amazing work here dear friend uh, for someone of such uh, tender years and it shows what a big uh uh responsibility she's taken on at this time dear friends yeah so uh perhaps david for yourself you can suggest to mom that uh she keep uh, um telling uh, her dear daughter that she is safe that all is well that everything is in good order that she knows who she is and she knows how to be herself in this world and that uh, her guidance and uh, her process is um yeah nothing to be afraid of dear friend you understand it's all it's all happening so quickly dear, dear one uh to to this little girl because she's so ready you understand okay yeah amazing yeah so dear friend give thanks because goodness she's going to blow blow the the doors off the place here as soon as she gets a chance yeah <laughs> yeah Sounds like it. Yeah. And good for you for asking, dear friend. You went first here. You're the leader of the group here at the moment. Yeah. With Karen. Yeah. And dear friend, what can we do for you today is the question. Ah, uh, for me? Yeah. Um, Let's remember you. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yes. Um, I'm just uh, want to be more deeply rooted in knowing who I am and, and being able to create and manifest things in my life so that I have a little bit of more happiness. It's a little bit chaotic chaos sometimes and, and the finances are sometimes rough and I, i'd like to be more yeah. grounded and stable very good very good dear friend well we're glad we asked you know david you know the the whole secret of uh, working with affirmations have you explored that yet a little bit uh, i am that i am exactly anything dear friend there you go you're off and running yeah good, look at you just like your little one there yeah your, your friend's daughter 
uh, this is the this is the A team, as was said. Uh, David, all is well for you, like all is well for the little girl here. And you see, as you uh, uh, affirm that, uh, like an actor in a in a part, dear friend, you give an Oscar-winning performance where you believe you are that abundant, deserving, a powerful spiritual man. Then the universe will say, "Absolutely!" And here you go. You understand? Okay. And yeah. um, may I ask another? Dear friend, thing? carry on. Yeah. I met somebody. Um, I was inspired to go seek out and hear the story of a woman who was uh, on the side of the road. She had a dog. She's uh, homeless sometimes. Um, she makes a little bit to rent a hotel sometimes. And I'm one, I was sharing these principles of the law of attraction with her that you've been speaking of. And I love the way that you, you put it so well. So I'm going to try to get her to hear the recording. So anything Wonderful. that would be able to sure. share with her. Sure. Sure. She's only, she's only 20 and seems to be going through quite a bit and, and knowing that everything is a reflection of you. Hopefully this will help her. Yeah. Dear friend. Wonderful. Again, your great compassion. God bless you, David. Yeah. Uh, what we want to say, dear friends, for everyone here is you see, uh, as you tune into the vibration, like you uh, spoke, uh, uh, there was the talk here of music, let's say, or of chanting, we bring this to the conversation. Whatever quiets the mind, uh, uh, awakens, uh, opens the heart, awakens the spirit, David. So for your friend there, what we want to say is to, to begin to work with hope, not as a, a last resort, but as a living, breathing entity, like an angel or a friend, you see, and that you would call upon the angel of hope, God bless you, in times of great challenge and great uh, yeah, crisis. Uh, dear friends, what you believe is what you prove to yourself, as you're all hearing once again, you're going to hear it over and over again, because that is the way forward for everyone in this world, dear friends. So uh, as you work with affirmation, David, as Lizzie works with um, reassuring her little one that she's, uh, she's ready for what's, what's uh, unfolding and she can trust herself and trust her guidance, it's the same for your friend there, dear friend. You can call upon the angels of love, the angels of hope, of prosperity, of healing, dear friends. If you believe it, then we shall be there, you understand. When you give thanks, knowing that that is so, trusting and faith believing, then, dear friends, your energy will shift. It will lift up. You will let go of the, the doubts and the worries and the struggles, you understand, David. That's our message to your friend. Work with the angel of hope. Uh, beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. You. yeah. Dear friends, the question to everyone is how good can you stand it? <laughs> Thank you. Nice. We're glad you're laughing. Yeah, it's time to lighten up. Dear, dear friends. And can That's sending good. energy to them help? Of course. Of course. Ways with yes. Their yes. Situations? Yes, dear friends. Absolutely. You can, of course, send energy in accordance to that person's free will. They will receive it. You can also dialogue with the higher self of each individual and say, if it's for this person's higher good, I, I want to help them uh, be open to creating a shift in terms of healing or prospering or loving, etc. And the higher self, you see, dear friends, the vibration of spirit is unconditional love. Yeah simple and to the point. And so for our human friends, sometimes you know that and believe that and trust that, and sometimes you don't. And that's your right, dear friends. Our paradox over here is we can lead you to the doorway, David, but we cannot make you walk through. So you can bring your friends and loved ones through your prayers and your love and light and your healing, as, as we did there with Jim and everyone to begin with, to, to where they're open to receive it, and then they will decide if they're ready for that gift to come to them or not, you see. Okay, yeah, because normally I just send energy for people who need healing, but I heard on channeling that for me to break through to do it energetically, and I, I don't yet understand that process. Well, d everything is energy. So it's simply a question of, of focus, yeah, and, and the, the, the depth or length of intensity when you're speaking here about, as we said, we like uh, toning as well as um, affirmations, and we like music as well as open meditations or guided meditations, because you see, all of these things help you to listen to, trust, and follow your inner guidance. So you, as we say here, dear friends, you're not making anything happen. You're making it welcome. And uh, since there is no separation between any of us or any of you, dear friends, that's the great 
truth of this time with loving intention, you can hold that space for your loved ones who are struggling or fearful or for yourself in your struggles and fears and say, I believe there is a solution to this. I'm calling upon my higher power to assist me and to assist my loved one in bringing forth this solution. That's your intention. You might see the love and light coming through you to them, energy, vibration, focus. And then dear friend, when you feel complete or that's enough or yeah, that's good, you let it go and then you give thanks. Spirit, I know something wondrous has come from this for me and my loved ones, and I'm ever so grateful. You understand, dear friend? Yes. That will, that will work, dear friend, every time. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Christine has a question. Yeah, we enjoyed that, David. Thank you. God bless you, dear friend. Thank you. Much love and light. Yes. Christine. Yes. yes, thank you. Thank you. Go uh, ahead, dear friend. I really liked your um, discussion on um, on healing um, others. My primary focus is on animals. Yes, and God bless you. Thank you. It's yeah. very difficult to um, to um, understand why um, when I do reiki on a horse or um, on a particular animal or something, um, is it their free will to decide whether to um, keep the illness that they have or I, I don't. of course it is yes they are they're, they are sovereign well god bless you we know your compassion that's why we love you so much over here christine yeah you see dear friend pain is not uh yeah you're mm -hmm. a loving caring being dear friend it, every every being has sovereignty the animals have sovereignty they have their own mind to decide what they what they will and will not accept or will or will not receive you see dear friend yeah you understand yeah all right oh, yeah We're, you're not happy about that answer we hear you dear friend we get the subtle hints yeah god love you but you see dear friend so let us talk about pain here for a moment in general terms yes all right so you see uh pain the the function of pain is to invite that being to change its mind right Pain, pain, okay. pain breaks the will. That's what it is designed to do. And so God bless you, dear friend. You see, you were a horse one time. How do you like that, Christine? Yeah? Everyone's been everything. Yeah, it's a big old universe, as you said earlier, Christine. Yeah? So sometimes you're this, sometimes you're that. Now you're a being named Christine with a lot of love and compassion. So dear friend, you can, as we said to David, you jumped right in there. You took, you got the invitation. If you will hold that love and compassion for yourself and for those that you care for and allow them to make their own decisions based entirely on their free will, they will make the best decision possible, animal, mineral, or vegetable, dear friend. Love, love invites and fear demands, as the saying goes. But dear one, see, your, your challenge, God bless you, as the healer of, of others as animals, uh, yeah, dear friend, is that you're not happy with their pain. We understand that. So, dear friend, you see, the gift of that is it forces you, God bless you, to work with your own pain again. You understand? Yeah, you're I, still there. Yeah, I'm. I'm thinking of. Um, you're thinking I, it over. Yeah, dear I'm friend. processing that because um, this one particular horse. Um, she has cancer in the eye. She's got painful eye, whatever inflammations. Yet she has so much spirit, and she is so mm -hmm. naughty. Yeah, good <laughs> in, for her. Yeah, in that she uh, purposely makes the other horses around her jealous. <laughs> right, right. Um, so it just kind of cracks me up, but it still breaks my heart that. She's in pain with her, with her eyes. You well, know? yeah, you see, dear friend, this is what pain does. It pulls uh -huh. everyone into their center, and it says, uh, "Is there is is this just absurd and meaningless and intolerable and insufferable, or can we continue to create a deeper space within ourselves to love ourselves and each other despite the pain?" It works you, as we say over here, dear friend. Pain works you. So we're not saying it's fun, easy, or pleasant. We're saying right. there's there's always a higher purpose to it. And God bless you, you see, in your healing work, in your compassion, 
in your uh, love uh, uh, of uh, this beautiful animal and all these animal friends, it's uh, it's helping you move beyond your own limitations as well, dear friend, truly. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You let us get I away want, with that. I want an instant miraculous healing. Join the, join the club, dear friend, yeah. What's the, the joke over here? Instant gratification takes too long. You ever hear that one, dear friend? <laughs> oh, boy. I'll yeah, say. Yeah. But you see, to come back to time and space. See, dear ones, we're not saying you don't have power to help others to heal their pain or for you to heal your pain. The exact opposite. We're saying, dear friends, no one can take your power from you. You can only give it away. And no one will give you your freedom. You must take it because it's yours. So, dear friends, you see, when you care for another, you take uh, responsibility to a certain extent for helping them with their pain, which forces you, by extension, to continue to deal with your own pain. And so, dear friends, you see, the limitations of life are designed inherently, as Karen said earlier, here you are in forget world, yeah, and you're trying to remember. God bless you, dear friends. So your heart says, I can help you. Uh, listen to me more deeply and surrender this uh, judgment of other people's pain or of your own, you understand. Send love to the pain, dear friend. It's the simple truth. People say, I don't want to love my pain. No, no, no. We want you to love past the pain and come back into love, dear friends. Pain and fear are manifestations of resistance at some level. Not judgment. Hear the difference. Resistance. There's a world of difference there, you understand, Christine. Yeah, now I'm seeing her as really being um, important in um, getting people to open their hearts. Exactly. That's what pain does. It demands compassion. It invites compassion. Yeah. All right. All right. So you see, dear friend, it helps you also. We're saying again here, we're nearly, you're nearly there, dear friend. You've done beautifully well in this conversation to give yourself permission to have more compassion to let go of your pain. You see, yeah. if you have no pain, you can sit with another in enormous pain, dear friends, without resistance, because you can love, you can give, you can pray, you can bless, you can surrender, you can release, you can let go, on and on and on. This is the work of the, the caregivers and the healers here, absolutely. And you see, but when you come up against your own limitations or boundaries or judgments, yes, thank you, then boom, there it is. Oh, like attracts like, says the law of attraction. There's my pain again. I thought I had that all sorted, dear friends, you see. <laughs> you don't get finished, you get better. That's the good news, Christine. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're very welcome, dear friend. We love you so. You're doing great work. Keep it up. Let's take a deep breath, everyone. Yeah, we're having a great time here. Who's next, Christine? God bless you. Uh, Jesse's next. Yeah. Hello. Hello. The youth of the world speaks loudly, dear friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just going to move right into this one here. Um, you can okay. Take it, Jesse. All right. Take so, your best shot, dear friend. Yeah. There are. Okay. I'm. I'm. I'm coming to terms with uh, the identities of my higher self. Good. And they. Um. There are many versions of me. I'm under. I'm. I'm um, as, a, as a human, that's true, Jesse. The as, a higher, as a higher self, no, no problem. One thing, always the same. You understand? The um, yes, the um, fractal. Uh, I'm, I'm. I'm like we're all in fractals, and there are like all multiple versions, all moving up ultimately to the source self. Um, Dear friend, through the mind and through perception, that's true, you see, but through love and through the heart, that's not the case. You okay. are the, you, uh, thank you, we have your attention, God love you, dear friend, yeah, you're a bright <laughs> lad, dear friend, a pleasure here. So the mind uh, uh, is fascinated with its ability to endlessly imagine and create new ideas and new possibilities, wonderful, we love you for it, keep up the good work. The heart is always today, tomorrow, and forever, same as higher self, the channel through the heart, the same. Unconditional love without ever being anything else, dear friend, you understand. Okay. 
Um, I, th I think I think I do. I'm so the, so so while well, you're doing fine, dear friend, the 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 true you see, Jesse, you're looking for greater freedom, like everyone in this world. Yes. Well, absolutely. All right, dear friend. So go to that heart of yours. Give your brilliant mind completely into the unconditional love of your higher self, soul, and spirit, and see what inspirations and creativities come to you at that point. You understand. That that's fantastic advice. Thank you. Well, we get a lot of help over here, Jesse. We're glad you're impressed. Yeah, Jeremy. so so uh, I I actually I want to um a, uh, ask my question. Yes, sorry. Um, no, no, no. You're that's no problem. Um, We're getting there, Jesse. I um <laughs> I um uh have on that note that there are like multiple versions, like because. My 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 identity my identity like one one of them is is Toth. I am on the that fractal, right? And you relate to there, this being, yes. There are multiple others, and yeah, I do, feel an an obligation, on. or maybe that's the wrong word for it. But I feel like I want to help them along because they are part of me. Like they are, like we are, or I am part of them. We are all part of the same bigger picture like ultimately we all are yes. um the but it, uh i i think this is more in close to home for me right now to, to help um other versions of me along and they can help me along so we can help so we can all help yes be a, more help to others Dear friend. so my yeah so throw the word love in there and you've got you've got a deal you understand <laughs> yeah yeah because that's what you're reaching for jesse that's what you're reaching for, dear friend, is to be loving, to be of loving service to all the different parts of yourself, humanity, and the other worlds. Absolutely. And so, dear man, the bridge for that is we promise you through trusting your loving and kind heart, your passionate heart, dear friend. So, my question is, um, you, probably, you, you probably already answered it, but I'm just going to ask it. How do yeah, I yeah. best... Um, connect with the these other versions of me because one of the, i mean one of them think i uh, we we have we have differing beliefs one of them believes the earth is flat one of them well doesn't need my help the right. th things that don't need my help how do i break these barriers and get us all working together dear friend it is love it is it is the answer to your question it's a beautiful question you see, this is the human dilemma, dear friend, and you've expressed it as the as the poet and the artist and the and the creator that you really are, dear friend. And yeah, so we're going to give you the same answer we've been giving since we started this wonderful chat, dear friend. You keep coming to your heart, putting on the altar of your heart your dreams and desires to be of loving service to yourself and to your world as you perceive it, both here and above, dear friend, and let yourself follow your inspiration. Well, we'll just down. Well, thank no, you very yeah, you're welcome, dear friend. It's a pleasure. There's no obligation to it, dear friend. It's what you came to do, to bridge heaven and earth through your open, loving heart. And I also, I hope that my question helped um, others who, uh, uh, the answer to my question helped others who heard it. Dear um, friend, it's, it's the same question for everyone, you understand. How can I be true to myself? Who am I? What, how can I express that truth in this world? Dear friend, listen to, trust, and follow your inspired inner guidance. Okay, you've you've answered my question. Thank you very much. You're for that. very welcome. You're very welcome. Yeah, you're doing great, dear friend. Trust yourself. You don't have. Here's the simple truth for you and for everyone here, dear friends. You never have to talk yourself into the truth. You know what the truth is the moment you hear it. What you're responding to, what everyone's hearing and feeling here today. Is, uh, is not just the name divine love or the channel's higher self. It is the vibration, dear friends, of the truth as you are able to perceive it. And when that lifts you up, lights you up, yeah, helps you, dear friends, you go, that's true. That's real. I believe that. I understand that. I accept that. Dear friends, that's your truth. You never have to talk yourselves into it. If you're talking yourself into something, it's not your truth any longer, you understand. That's what the world is learning to let go of. Jesse, you're right there at the cutting edge, dear friend. You're doing great. Thank you. I'm going to well, sign off now. All right, dear friend. Take a deep breath, everyone.
Another happy customer, dear friends. God bless you. What a beautiful organization, a great team you have here, Karen. God bless you. Wow. Oh. That's, there's some contrast for us. God bless. Yeah. That was a dog barking. St yes. <laughs> yes, we figured that. Yeah. <laughs> Stephen, did you have a question? Are you there still or not? Yes. Hello. Okay. Hi. Not you stop. Dog stop. Great. Thanks for your patience. Dogs have fun. Yeah. They're friends. Right. Thanks for being here, Spirit. Thank you. So I have a situation um, that Spirit brought a manager into my life for a job. Um, right. We had an orthodox interview. It went well. Um, and I, my inner knowing knows that this is going to bring financial abundance to myself and my family. Uh, it, the, the issue is it's for this four months of unpaid training whereby we'll be going into a lot of credit card debt. And my question is I can deal with it, but how do I keep my wife from being in that fear and in, in, in anger vibration? How do you keep period? how do you keep your wife from packing the bags and moving out, dear friend? God bless you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Good one. Good one. All right. Stephen, can you describe what it is you're training for here? It's it's a uh, home improvement company. So it's the, it's the sales, but um, the 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 manager is 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 in tune with the law of attraction, how the universe works. He has unorthodox uh, methodologies, and he's good at keeping his guys. And he actually doesn't need a salesperson. He's actually going to generate more leads so he can bring on one more sales associate. Because one of his his associates, uh, who's also awake, felt my energies. We gave each other goosebumps, and uh, that's how I landed the interview. So he knows that. That I, I will be able to perform um, yeah. because we have the, that that the spirit with us, if you will. God so, bless you, um, Yeah, go on. But uh, but right, my, my wife is going to be scared and angry. <laughs> I know during this this period, it's going to be thousands of dollars more on the credit card. Right. Wow. Well, so you, um, God bless her. What's her name? Just out of your her answer. name is Jolina. God bless her, dear friend. Yeah, we want to bring her into this circle for love and healing as well. Yeah, it's a party for everyone. Steve, so we think uh, we think we get the picture here. Should we jump in with you and see what's possible? Absolutely. Right. All right, dear friend. Um, dear friend, if you had uh, the money today, let's say you have all the money in the world. Let's play this game for a moment, okay? Jolene will like this. You can play it with her, dear friend, yeah? So you've got all the money in the world. What would you do differently if you, if you had no more financial stress or problems? I would be setting up shop to uh, to establish the pot pile land that my uh, that my channeler friend Gavin and I uh, prearranged to uh, set up before incarnation to uh, do preparatory work for first contact. We're going to bring in extraterrestrials for short visitations in the late 2020s before first contact happens somewhere in the 2030s for the masses for the public. So it's, it's kind of an attunement uh, of, of Gaia, attune, attunement of that land um, for that purpose. And so it, right. it, it, it is, it is a, pre a preparatory uh, a mission, if you will. Right. All right. Dear friend, that's good. That's interesting. That's exciting. Put that aside for a moment. And let us ask the question again. If that was not on your agenda and yeah, you had the resources that you wanted to create whatever you want, what else might you be interested in? I'm a simple man. Um, I have two kids, so right. I just want to get out of debt and, uh, right. and 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 not have anything fancy per se, but just just uh, financial stability. And I would and I would be um, doing the other part of my mission, which is reaching out to conservative Christians who oh. will be looking for different answers besides apart from what their pastors will be telling them. Yeah. When, when when extraterrestrial presence becomes more obvious to the public. So I'm, yeah. I'm already yeah. doing that part right now, but I would be pursuing that more aggressively. Well, all right. God bless you, Stephen. Now we're getting somewhere. You see, question three is usually the turning point. Yeah, in the conversation. God bless you, dear friend. So this is the message here from your guides. They would like you to understand, and this is, we know we we're going to chat with everyone about this. See, dear friends, um, ETs and all of that is absolutely fine. It's a part of your reality. You have every right to create your own experiences with all of that. And we know you all in this group have a great deal of 
time and research and energy and experience uh, invested in all of this, and that's absolutely fine. We're not going to say uh, it isn't. It's fine. It's perfect. But we're showing up with this group here today to kind of bring a little daylight and a little fresh air, if we can, dear friends, into any other directions where you also can be of great service to the world. So hear us again. We want to try to straddle the fence a little bit with our friend Stephen here to all of you. You have to live in your life, of course you do, day to day with the understanding that you're a sovereign being. And dear friend, Stephen, if we were going to do a little one-to-one -one session here with you, dear friend, we would dig into the old childhood there and work with the energy of father and dear friend, letting go of old struggles around deservability and worth. Does that make any sense? Okay, yes. All right, dear friend, thank you very much. So we're just uh, gonna you know, hum a very peaceful tune in your direction, dear friend, that um, all of that is absolutely fine, but we would also leave you and everyone here with this very simple message. Spirit, if there is a better way, a simpler way, a new way, for me to have everything my heart is asking for, I'm wide open and ready to receive it. You understand? Yes. Dear friend, can you let that in? I'm yeah? letting it in. You're letting it in, dear friend. We're feeling the love, dear friends. Let's take a deep breath, everyone. See, dear friends, we, we, Stephen, we really respect what you've asked us here and what you've shared with us. And we want to reassure you and Jolene, all is well for you and your loved ones. The more, dear friend, that you, and you are a deeply, dear friend, deeply spiritual human being. You understand? Yes. yes. Right, you are 100% you are committed to your truth. God bless you, dear friend. We're here to support that 100% as well. So we're saying, Stephen, there probably can be quicker ways, easier ways, simpler ways for you to have what you're working on in every area. And it's our great delight to just invite you to keep knocking on heaven's door until it opens in a way that you don't have to struggle about it, you understand? Okay. Yeah, because yes, dear friend, you're 99% there already. Thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. In other words, to simply put here, dear friends, it's like we said to um, the chap there with the fractals, was that, uh, uh, Jeremy or Joshua, um, the men of the world, God love you, tend to take the long way around the barn. You get the picture, Stephen? I, I do. All right, dear friend. So we're pro we're whispering over here to you and Jolene and your lovely family, there there will be new answers and new possibilities because you've shown up here today and you've you've been open and vulnerable to spirit. And dear friends, whenever you do that, grace will meet you in ways beyond what you've imagined possible. That's our promise to you, Stephen, you understand. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. You're a good receiver, dear friend. Yeah, wonderful to be here with you. All is well, and dear friend, give thanks that this or something better is now unfolding in your life as if, you, if nothing were to change, and we promise you new things will come, but if nothing were to change, dear friend, you would still be guided to keep saying this prayer from your heart of hearts, you understand. Yes, sir. Yes, All sir. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Gratitude for blessing. You're very welcome, dear friend. You got the message, dear friend. God bless you. We felt <laughs> it right there. You, everyone can feel it, dear friends. It's trust, Stephen. And that is trust is everything, dear friends. We'll tell you who you trust, what you trust, how deeply you trust, why you trust, when people have broken your trust, when you've forgiven them for that, when you haven't, dear friends. God is worthy of your trust, dear friends, whatever word you choose to use. Give thanks. It's on its way. You deserve all as well. Take a deep breath. All right. Well done, Stephen. Okay. You've raised the bar. Karen, dear friend, go ahead. Yeah. We have a lot of questions. So next is Michelle. All right. All right. I'm going to splay myself all out there. We love a good splay, Michelle. <laughs> What's okay. Sexier, so, what's sexier than that, dear friend? Go on. Yeah. So, well, this isn't, this definitely is not that kind of a. We're joking, dear friend. Yeah. We're just. So, so what has happened or what I have experienced in the last four months, I believe, is extreme lows, like extreme lows. Right. Like you've been depressed, I, dear friend, you say. Yeah. It, it's like I've been horizontal for maybe even in excess of a month like right. not in a row but because i try to make myself get up and do things Good. but 
I'm really curious if my soul just really loves pain and chaos. No, no that's an easy or, one. No. Or, or what is the mechanism? Am I chemically imbalanced or am I like putting, squashing my own self? I, I don't yes. understand yes. why I keep doing the circle. I mean, it's very obvious it's unhealthy. And I know the answers, like and intellectually know the answers. And even sometimes I know no. And yes, then I fall friend. and then I fall out of the knowing and then I'm squashed and I can't and I yeah. and I do not function. Right, right. So So, so Michelle yeah. All right, we'll jump in here because we get the picture. You understand? Okay. Yeah. All right, God bless you, dear friend. Yeah, and apologies. Uh, dear friend, a good display is what it's all about. Yeah, surrendering resistance. That's our message here, yeah? Dear mm -hmm. friend, yeah. So you see, dear friend, even in your expression of what you're going through, you're reluctant to put it in emotional terms. It's fine, but we just want to point this out to you so you can get the clarity that you're asking for here. You see. Okay. All right, so dear friend, you're using abstract terms. I'm low, I'm down, I'm splayed, these kinds of things, fine. I feel more numb than I feel, I don't feel sad. I feel overwhelmed, like by the state of the world, maybe. Like my heart feels crushed, like that I know that, that my water is poisoned, that my food is poisoned, that there's agendas that are, huge like like i had a series of knowings a series of energies a series of experiences and they all like all my knowing went to the small place like my heart got yeah afraid, yeah, yeah and it of got course. small all right to fred we hear you that's very fair that's very fair thank you so michelle we, we want to your guides are shouting in our ears over here you they want you to know dear friend you're more than all of that i am more than this I am more than someone messing with my reality. I take my dominion. I take my power back. I have a voice. I have a consciousness. I have a connection to a loving higher power. I can co-create for myself a life that is meaningful and joyous and fulfilling. You do know that, dear friend, in your heart of hearts, yes? Yes. Yes, All right. I do. All right. So, dear friend, the, the problem, the challenge, better word, sorry, the challenge, dear friend, is for everyone here, yeah, is that you, you do get overwhelmed because you're just focusing on where you don't feel you have power. So retreat is fine, dear friends. Illness is fine. Despair is fine. Depression is fine. Addiction is fine. It's all fine. Uh, financial struggle, fine, fine, fine. But you see, to really come back to yourself, you want to know that you are more than that. So as we said to our dear brother Stephen here, who got the message loud and clear, uh, and that's why you stepped into the vibration at this moment, dear friend. Uh, we want you to surrender your resistance to who you are. How do you like that? Well, I like it just fine in theory. Well, <laughs> it doesn't work in theory. It only works in practice, you see. You have to, dear friend, you have to get into the boat and sail into the water to have the experience. You can't do it from the shore, you understand. Yes, I do understand. All right, all right. So, so dear friend, Meditation, uh, affirmation, prayer, journaling. See, we, we, way back when, where were we with uh, David there? Yeah, and we said, he says, I am that I am. Brilliant. Let's hear more of that, everyone, please. Yeah, you are uh, one with your creator. That's right. You are a sovereign being. Yes. yes. You are. All right, dear friend, do you understand? So we would like you to beat that drum. And to, dear friend, when you get overwhelmed or, you see, you're very sensitive. You take on everyone's energy, Michelle, your guide say here. Mm -hmm. All right. So what's the word for uh, empaths like our, our little two-year-old there? Boundaries. Yes. Boundaries. All right, dear friend. So you must, God bless you, for the women of the world, you must say no to what you don't want in order to, for your yes to mean anything, you see, to have your, your, your feminine energy is your garden, the spirit and your emotions, beautiful, mysterious, hidden, always moving, always growing, always changing, and the masculine energy is the mind and the body fixed, static, focused in time and space, the gate around your garden. So your free will, Michelle, is I love this, I open my gate, I let you into my garden, or I, I share my garden with you. You don't respect me, you don't keep your agreements, you don't feel safe, I close my gate, you understand? Yes. All right, so dear friend, how, where's the next step for you? How can we help make this more clear for you? 
So that the feeling I have in my what I feel is that like thing I gotta move. I gotta switch it up. Something's gotta happen. I know I'm not doing my soul's purpose and ergo I'm not stepping into my power. Ergo I feel like this, right? But I have literally nothing I experience I will not say I am. I experience massive confusion and direction. Right. Right, because dear friend, you put the cart before the horse. It's not where you are, it's who you are based on who you believe you are, no matter where you are. How do you like that? <laughs> yeah, you see, humans are so good at arguing for the limitations. We love you so madly, dear friends, but it's never <laughs> true, you see. That's why it sucks, dear friends, because it's not true, yeah? Yeah, mm -hmm. does it make sense, Michelle? All right, so come back to forgiveness. I forgive myself for judging myself. I forgive mm -hmm. myself for controlling my feelings. I forgive myself for giving my power away. Whatever is helpful, yeah? Uh, first forgiveness, then dear friends, you come to peace and you say your affirmations. I am powerful, I am abundant, I am healthy, I am safe, I am loved. I extend this to everyone who I can be of loving service to, my family and friends, my clients and students, everyone that I can inspire. I call you forth into my heart of hearts in this high vibration. Then give thanks, let it go, yeah, and see what changes for you, dear friend. Okay. That works. You understand? So I'm not on a, I do understand. I just feel like I'm on a time crunch, but I might be mistaken. Well, dear friend, yeah, every limitation is a belief of the mind. How do you mm -hmm. like that? And, and as we said to our friend there with the fractals, it's not reality, it's just the movie on the screen. Your reality, beautiful woman, is the passion and the love and the joy in your heart. That's your fountain of life, dear friend. That's the generating energy and the engine of your creation. That's the fire of your uh, cauldron to create what you, what you truly desire for yourself, number one, and by extension through grace in accordance to everyone's free will, for the others that are waking uh, and asking for the same message as well, you see. Okay. Your friend, so are you going to write? Are you going to speak? Are you going to teach? What are you going to do? Tell us what's the next step here. Um, yeah, All the I above. Know. All the <laughs> above, your guides say. Let's go. Yeah, it's your friend. Yeah. When you co-create with spirit, Michelle, and everyone here, when you truly co-create with spirit, which we just showed you how to do again, yeah, Three steps. You let go of the resistance. This is mine. I'm in denial. I'm in control. I'm in judgment. I'm in pain. I'm in fear. Okay, I'm, I'm on the other side of the fence. I accept responsibility for my part in creating this or allowing this. I forgive myself and I give it to Almighty God. I come back to peace. Thank you, God, for my life. I bless the situation. I bless everyone involved. I give it to God for God's purpose. Use the words you like. And then I give thanks, God, I am in your hands this day. Use me for your purpose. I let it be, so it is. Th those are the three steps you understand. Then, dear friend, what comes into your life now, you see, just as we say it, the vibration shifts. What comes into your life is your inspiration. And as we said a moment earlier, you don't have to talk yourself into trusting your inspiration. You only talk yourselves out of trusting your inspiration, dear friends. That's really true. Thank you very much. <laughs> Did we get there, Michelle? Are we on the same page? Yes. I mean, I comprehend all of that. I know I experience resistance with right, writing so right, much. Right. Thank you. So, dear friend, this is what we want to leave you with because you really do understand it. When you co-create with spirit, what you've asked for comes out of the blue in the way you least expect it, better than you've imagined possible, revealing your true nature. So your work, like everyone here, is to listen to, trust, and follow your true nature to the best of your ability, and life will always show you when you've when you've done that. Life will always change. You see. Thank you. You're are welcome. you are are you related to uh... all of them? All of them. We're all in the same group. <laughs> You're friends. You know? <laughs> Thank We're you. gonna move on now. We Thank need you. to move take on. A, take a deep breath. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Karen. God bless you. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, we have Ian next. Yeah. Hi, Lou. Thank you very much for joining us today. Um, I have a, a, a dear friend of mine who recently flew in from the UK to visit with me and take care of me while I um, healed from some, some surgery. And it turned into a great 
visit. i um, known this person for years and it turned spiritual as far as on her part opening up. Um, and of course I have scads of information. Of course. So that, that part has been a lot of fun. Good. And she said something that has brought me to my question and that yes. is while she's been here at my house, she told me that she hears voices. Right. I hear voices all the time. Good for you, um, not talking friend. directly to me, but you know, right. I just thought it was always a, a me thing. Um, but now she says that she hears the exact same thing because we've compared notes on what the voices sound like. Yeah. And I was wondering if you had any any information, any feedback on that. God bless you, Ian. You're losing your mind, dear friend. What could be clearer than that? Well, dear that's, friend, that's, we're joking, dear friend. Have a laugh. Yeah, relax, dear friend. You're I know, fine. Fun. Yeah, dear friend. It's fun yeah. to lose your mind. <laughs> well, it is, it is. Yes, because you're finding your heart, dear friend, absolutely, and your healing is a part of that journey. So this is all in good divine timing, including your friend showing up supporting you. So what it is, is as you raise your vibration, as you open your heart, the channel talked about Kundalini. Dear friends, life is Kundalini these days. How do you like that, Ian? Absolutely. So, so yes, your heart is open, so you're receptive, dear friend. So you're getting the whispers and the messages from spirit and from your guides yeah we we hope that that is uh, uh your perception of that that's that's how it feels over here okay i i didn't know if it was you know message from guys because a lot of times it's you know conversations that you kind of are just privy to you, you hear between spirit yeah. i didn't know if it was because i have aliens around me i you know i didn't know the source of the the data i didn't know the right. source of you know the noise right right well dear friend yeah, no, we hear you, and you're, you're a bright light, dear friend. We're celebrating you over here. We're popping the champagne for you and others like you. God bless you. Yeah, dear friend, you see, as we, our joke over here is uh, we want our human friends to build a bridge and get over themselves, yeah, dear friend. Uh, so the weirder the better is our motto, Ian, uh, uh, because you see what humanity has called reality is really, we don't have to tell you, is uh, quite confining and quite limited and not so fun. So when people are really ready as you are to awaken and to grow and to heal, then all sorts of intimacies with other dimensions and other beings and ETs and uh, angels and light beings and uh, spirits who passed over begin to crop up and people say, am I losing my mind, ho, ho, ho? Or uh, is this my answered prayer to have greater clarity about my true nature? We'd say the second, dear friend, and not the former, you understand. Great. Thank you yeah. very much for your yeah. help. Yeah. Thank you for being yeah. here. Much love. God, God bless you, dear friend. Absolutely. And Ian, we'd like to read your book. So we're looking forward to that over here. Yeah, get ready, dear friend. Yeah. Uh, thank you for that again. Yeah, dear friend, if you're inspired, if you if we can talk you in that direction. Because you see, you're, you and your friend, isn't this wonderful? The two of you together supporting each other. Isn't that ideal? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, keep exploring that together and see what these conversations have to share with you, dear friend. You're very, God bless you, Ian. Can you describe your healing process uh, for a moment here? You guys want to talk about that? Uh, the the healing process that I'm going through, I had uh, lower back surgery that was kind of oh. a major surgery. So yeah. it's just recovering from that, from having, you know, things fused to your spine and God, you. things like that. Dear friend, you see, Ian, that's why they inspired us to ask this. So you might think about a one-to-one -one here at some point if it suits you as well, because this is your early childhood stuff about not feeling supported. Yeah, to heal that, dear friend, emotionally and spiritually as well as physically, you understand. Yes, and the healing's been going great, and it's happening a lot quicker than it did from the previous surgery. Yeah. And, yeah. and great yeah. treatment seems to be helping greatly as well. Dear friend, because you've given yourself permission at long last to have greater compassion for your pain, God bless you too. Yes, definitely. Thank you. <laughs> well done, right. Ian. Uh, yeah, thank you. Take a deep breath. Yeah, go on, Karen. Thanks, Ian. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. Go no, ahead. No, you're fine. Go ahead, Ian. Take your deep breath. Everyone we're, breathing. We're like a barber with 10 people uh, waiting for a chair. Deep breath. Breath. You yeah, are. You're like a barber. Okay, well, next in the chair. Uh, Oh, somebody's got uh, like a someone just got to meet her. Yeah. You are? Okay, Carol, uh, we had to mute you. So, okay, um, Ian, sorry to uh, no, that was perfect. feedback all over you. Yeah, okay, um, the next question, uh, Stargazer, are you back? Are you there? Yes, I am okay, here. I asked a question for um, Elga. She's in the YouTube chat, but he's going to ask her a question for you. Yes. 
welcome Krellick and welcome to all of those who just joined. All right, here is the question for Elga. I'm not even going to try to pronounce your last name. I am, I am an original indigo child, and I'd like to know how far I have come and what really is or are my gifts I can use now here being in the 3D world. Lou, you're muted. I shouldn't be. No. Oh, K Karen Lou, is. Lou is muted. Lou is muted. Can can please and and, and everyone in the chat, please do not mute people. Um, Lou, can you unmute yourself? Thank you. Okay, Michelle, how's that? please mute yourself. Okay. You, you got me. Yes. Thanks. Okay. So, um, give me one second. I, I came out. Give me one second here. Yeah. All right. Right. No, the message here is the same that we've been singing throughout the day here, dear friend. It's compassion for self extended to others. The, the great challenge for everyone who feels differently gifted or in a different vibration or is in any way self-conscious about uh, not fitting in uh, with everyone else, uh, Joe Sixpack and all of that, is about self-acceptance. And you see, dear friends, uh, everyone goes through this drama, am I okay? Will you accept me? The, the, we'd say turn it around for our friend here, accept yourself. The more you accept yourself, the more confidence you have in sharing your perceptions and your beliefs. That is your purpose, simple and to the point. It's no more complicated than that. That's the answer here. Does it make sense? I'm going to answer because there's a little bit of a lag between yeah. here and YouTube. Yeah. And I'd say to me, for her, yes, it is. Great. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Well, peace and blessings to her. All is well. Yeah? Celebrate, celebrate yourself, dear friend. That's the greatest path to acceptance we know. Thank you for that. Um, Lana yeah. has a question. Yeah. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Thank you. It's a delight to hear you. Very, um, very beautiful. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you, dear friend. You're a delight as well. God bless you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, I am um, wondering uh, if you can maybe give me a hint, uh, because I'm having trouble putting my finger on what exactly, um, uh, where's the switch between me with no resistance and me with resistance? Because I, I know both of trust, those versions. Trust, trust, your friend is the word. See, no, res trust is, is, is uh, sorry, we're interrupted. Go ahead, finish your, finish your question. Oh, well, I just really love me being with me and and the internal dialogue and the uh, the way yeah. things are when when I am without the resistance the the um, yeah. the subtleties yeah. that I notice the the, the yeah. you know my my just um, it's just so different and different. and then okay. I, I I also speaking to Yael um, a few weeks ago. Um, they told me that I, I should just observe myself to know myself, to love myself. Same answer, and, same answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I've done that, and I and I see the different uh, versions of me. Uh, Good. And, I, and I've, embraced, I've embraced them, and I do prefer me with no resistance. But I just, of course. I, I, I just can't notice when I, when I pass that line. I, I don't right. know what does it. Right. <laughs> No, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Friend, it's why you have so much joy, Atlanta. Yeah? You're a joyous being because you really have an open heart. You understand? I, I do. I do think I hope yeah. so. 
It's a friend. You do simple and to the point. You do, you do, you do. Um, you're, yeah, it's uh, so so uh, you're meant to feel good all the time. The resistance that you're talking about is when you focus on things that are not your truth. People who disagree with you, uh, as Michelle was saying, the water's not right, the food isn't mm -hmm. right, the air isn't okay. All right. So you see, when you focus on the contrast and you start feeling negative feelings, resistance, fear, judgment, then you need to do something or say something to come back into that joyous heart of yours. So, dear friend, you see, as we just were building on here with uh, our previous indigo, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, as you accept yourself, you trust yourself. And as you trust yourself, you can then make, you can have healthy boundaries and you can make the choices and the decisions so that you're not swept into other people's dramas. And so you're not self-conscious about your, your loving yourself and being different from others, you understand. I'm going to think on that, see what, what that brings. <laughs> well, different, it will bring you greater permission to love yourself. Yeah. So get ready because here it comes. All right. I, yeah. I do feel that I need some influx of, well, of so something. <laughs> you're doing great. You're doing great. For you and everyone here, what is happening in this year is absolutely unprecedented. We want to speak about this for a moment. So anywhere in the unconscious mind, dear friends, anywhere in the physical and emotional bodies where you have still hidden your fears, your doubts, your shadow, your pain, that is really coming up, dear friends. That is boiling over on the stove now. So it's not a punishment. It's not out to get you. You're, you don't have to live in overwhelm and anxiety. But of course, like uh, our friend Atlanta is doing here, you are being, and we said this to our friend there, Christine, the healer, and others here as well, you are being really called now, clearly and unequivocally, dear friends. People so often say the words obvious, you see. Well, dear friends, this is obvious to us. You are all here today because you're being called in the direction of your soul and spirit. What does this mean for me? What does this mean to me now? My higher self, who's that? My spiritual nature, what's that about? You get to ask, of course, and you get to allow yourself to open to the answer. So we're saying here again, forgiveness and compassion for your own pain and fear gives you a space for grace that allows you to come back to peace and allow healing to happen. And when you allow that to happen, dear friends, as we do here just speaking about it, you will come back into a place of feeling confident about your perception and your worth. You understand, Atlanta? I I do. Um, can it's I a just practice. Ask? Yes, yeah. one different. It's a practice. It's easy to say it. We're asking you to live it. That's the difference. That's what spirit is calling humanity to do: to come into your spiritual nature as a practice. Yeah. Um, just find sometimes myself standing without a compass, just not having a direction or, or and, and then that makes me just want to um sort of isolate us isolate myself because i feel like well i'm i can't really move in any direction because i feel myself kind of lost different you can you can move within you can move within you go within and you say spirit i give you my heart and ask for clarity in this situation and i thank you for it mm -hmm. yeah yeah I, we hear you, dear friend. It is it is the dance. When you don't know what the answer is, go within and give everything to your to your creator, and let them press the reset button. Yeah, reboot your little hard drive there, and say, okay, I'm ready for something new. I'm I'm ready for for a new direction. Thank you very much. I love you, God. Yeah, and dear friend, it will come forth. You understand. All right, I will. I will practice that for sure. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Yeah, your joy is infectious, dear friend. You got a big message to bring to the world. Don't be shy about it. Bring it on. Can I just do a little gift to the everyone who's here? Sure thing. Is do I, am I correct in assuming that all of us here um, somehow knew each other before, or because this is a yes. very one of a kind um, group and one of a kind individual yes. representation yes and i just really want to express how much i appreciate you guys i did not know that this could be possible thank you dear friend god bless you it's preview of coming attractions atlanta enlightened <laughs> group consciousness get ready you step right. out of the way dear friends you're going to be amazing yourselves and each other yeah truly truly 
Thank you, Atlanta. Thank you. God bless you. You're Thank welcome. You. God bless you. Take a deep breath. Karen, God bless you, dear friend. Okay. Um, Salish has a question. He just came back from Rishikesh in India, and he wow. wants to know, he said, are you able to elucidate any information regarding my recent trip to Rishikesh? I was inspired to travel there and just went without a care in the world, totally out of character for me. Yeah. And has my higher self from my guides any messages regarding the trip or any other messages? Yes, bring it into your daily life, dear friend. You've set yourself free. Now don't go back to prison. Yeah, <laughs> stay in that vibration of trust and openness. Yeah, it's the simple truth. Yeah, life will, as we said to our friend Atlanta here, it's wonderful. Dear friend, when you see, again, to come back to trust, uh, yeah, the more you trust, the more life is worthy of your trust. The less you trust, the more you prove to yourselves that you're unsafe and unqualified. Yeah, so you will always, once again, prove to yourself what you believe to be true in moments of great freedom like this, dear friend, as the phrase goes, milk it expand upon it say okay life what would you have me surrender to next i love you madly i'm in love with you life take me i'm yours you understand perfect thank you very much uh the next question is from uh salem yes uh hello hello hey how are you doing we are good dear friend how are you is the mystery here yeah i am great i'm doing great so my question has been touched upon in this chat but i'll just ask it anyway you uh i've been going through like the last two months a very deep uh, low as one of the participants said yes and i know that i asked for this just to show myself my fears and my deepest like sorrows so i can deal with them god bless you but the problem is i feel stuck like this time is very intense and yeah yeah and i keep going in loops back and forth back and forth yeah 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 Dear friend, God bless you. Will we jump in there, Salem? Yes. All right, God bless you, dear friend. Will we love when the men get sad? Yeah, because that, that's progress, dear friend. God bless you, yeah? Because the rules of the road here have been that women can be sad but can't be angry, and men can be angry but can't be sad. So you're doing the work, dear friend. God love you, yeah? You're giving yourself uh, that uh, balance in this lifetime right now to love your pain and sorrow, dear friend, to heal your grief by, by being intimate with it. So dear friend, just uh, as we say here about pain, we started that with Christine. Dear friends, it's not your enemy, it's your best friend. But you need to know that it's bringing you something that you haven't been able to let into your life in an easier way, which is to love yourself no matter what the condition. You see, as you're reaching for spirit, Salem, God love you, dear friend. Spirit is holding that space for you so we're saying here the gift of trust, the gift of surrender, the gift of intentionality, the gift of uh, owning your truth is uh, dancing with whatever shows up without judging yourself, dear friend. Do you hear the message? Yes. All right. Is there so, like any more practical ways to unconditionally love yourself? Thank you. Thank you. That yes, dear friend. Yes. Th now. Thank you. Thank you, God, for this pain and sorrow and grief, which I've been running from my whole life. Let me face it fully with courage and dignity and receive its gift and its blessing. Mm -hmm. Dear friend, that will work. So just accepting it with a full heart. Dear friend, yes, with a full heart. That's the, that's the operative phrase you understand. You see, okay. dear friend, it's, uh, people say, well, what's at the end of the, of the movie? Well, we say you have to get to the end of the movie to find out. What's mm -hmm. the end of my pain? You have to go through your pain to find the strength and the power on the other side of it, you see. I see. Yeah, and dear friend. Is there any message from my guide to like any direction? Yes, dear friend. Stop move. judging yourself. Stop judging yourself, dear friend. Love yourself. Accept yourself. Trust yourself. Forgive yourself. We could say that all day long, dear friend. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to get a little teary, you go right ahead, dear friend, because we're just going to drill down to the roots of you until you surrender everything else. How do you like that? I mean, that's what I'm here for. I really want to let go of this because it's too much, I feel, you know? Right, so dear friend, what is too much, you're more than that, and you embrace what it is, and you say, God, show me your will for me in this situation. I give myself to you entirely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the initiation, dear friend. It's like giving birth, yeah? 
it's a lot of trauma and terror and crying and screaming and blood and mess and all of that. And then life comes out the other side of it. And you say, aren't I so blessed? You are, dear friend. There's nothing to fear. You understand? Thank you. You're welcome, dear friend. Then you'll be the tears that begin in sorrow and in joy, dear friend. You won't know yourself on the other side of trying to control your feelings rather than feel your feelings. You see, that's the key here. What's the difference? Yes, that's the question, dear friend. So you see, we said to Michelle, we gave her a little bit of a critique about that. You're saying, I feel despair, I feel sorrow, I feel pain, I feel empty. Wonderful. When people are really describing their feelings, you're halfway through them, dear friends. You see, when people say, I'm low, I'm stuck, I'm this, I'm that, you're, not re you're still in your heads, you see, uh, Salem. So mm -hmm. uh, the difference between uh, controlling your feelings versus feeling is let yourself feel your grief, sorrow, sadness. Life has been unhappy. Life has been unfulfilling. Life has been disappointing. People have let me down. I've let me down. Feel that, dear friend. Feel it, feel it, feel it, and then let it go. You understand? You don't keep pushing it away. Dear friend, how you know you've come through the journey is you come back to peace. When you're not at peace, which is what all this is stirring up in everyone on the planet, dear friends, this is a very very conscious group but everyone in the world is going through some form of this this is the awakening of uh, this time dear friends your emotions are saying you cannot live in denial of what you've been feeling because you're coming into a time of tremendous power of feeling the time of the heart so it's a it's a bargain dear friends it's a sweet deal feel your feelings don't judge them and come back to yourself grief is a journey of surrendering into all that you have denied and coming back into how deeply you do care and how powerfully you do love. You understand, Sam? I understand. Yes. Thank you. Thank, thank you, dear friend. You are the gift you give to yourself, dear friend. You're doing great. You're doing absolutely great. And we thank you for your courage and the depth of your vulnerability here today. Thank you. Take thank a you. deep breath. You're welcome. When women express anger and men can express sorrow, dear friends, the world will heal. That's what's been out of balance, and you are in for the sh ride of your lives, dear friends. Who's next? Okay, ne next is Ava. Hi, um, thank you for talking um, to us. I have uh, questions about my job because I seem to be in crisis right now. Yeah. This was supposed to be part-time work, pleasant, um, but which would allow me to really create art while yeah. I am working again part-time part and not... Yeah myself how to sell it and what I yes. create right now I seem to be in a real crisis about my work again I used to actually enjoy it now now I really resent going and doing anything about it uh, right do you have an advice do you have an insight how can I well more? yes Yes, Ava, God bless you, dear friend. You're a gentle soul, and we, we love and celebrate you over here, dear friend. You're, you're a real kind of a fairy energy. Have you heard that before? I actually didn't. No, thank you. Well, you're welcome, dear friend. We want to bring a smile to your face, if it's at all possible, dear friend. God bless you. Um, the operative, you see, uh, it's wonderful. Language is so helpful. When you say supposed to, that's where you gave your power away. You see, you talked yourself or somebody talked you into believing this and it turned out to be that instead of this. So, dear friend, you can forgive yourself for believing something that wasn't true or for creating an agreement that you want to change your mind about and simply create a new agreement with the universe. Universe, you and I are now having a new agreement that I am an abundant being and I am a gentle soul and I am a loving being and I deserve health, wealth and happiness. And I'm giving thanks to know that you are creating that with me this very day. Let's all take a deep breath. Dear friend, it sounds so simple and so easy, but it can be as simple and easy as that if you will allow yourself to practice that, you understand, to believe it and practice it. Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, I would like to believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Do, dear friend, it won't cost you a thing. Believe it, you see. <laughs> Believe it, dear friend, and trust it. Yeah, not because we're saying it, but because your heart can feel the difference between words like should, supposed to, have to, and must, and 
I give thanks knowing that I am being blessed, guided, loved, and supported by my loving higher power, and I deserve this and all the gifts of life. So it is, dear friend. You hear the difference? You're going to listen to the music that you're playing from your heart, dear friend. So play the music that you want to be hearing is the simple truth. And let everything go. See what changes, dear friend. Yeah, you are in charge. You are, you are the creator, and God supports you to have what you want unless you believe that it's not possible or not so easy. That's all that's going on here. Yes, no, maybe so? Well, I try my best. <laughs> right. So, dear friend, don't try so hard. Believe better. Oh, that's very wise. I love Thank you. <laughs> we think so, too, dear friend. Less trying, more believing, everyone. That'll help everyone here, dear friends. Yeah? All right, Eva. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome, dear friend. It's coming. Give thanks. Take a deep breath, everyone. Thank you. Yes, uh, Karen, dear friend. Yes. We we going all day. This is a this is a marathon. It's it's such a joy. We are yeah. we are we have two more questions. Wonderful, dear friend. And we'll we're the almost channel. at the top of the hour, we'll so we're good. We're right on time. Perfect, but yes, we'll, we'll go all day. But good. we have the a channel, time perfectly. Yeah. The channel just needs to answer the call of nature here at some point. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, just just a few more minutes, if Very if you can, we can. Yes, we can manage that. I no should have, I should have maybe warned the channel before no we problem. started. No problem. Time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, this is a question from the YouTube chat from Xchina, and yeah. she's saying, um, or yeah, I hope it's a she. She said, "I live here and now, but I also live a lot in 5D." Good. I must always fight for my rights. I have never experienced, unfortunately, something simple. I'm tired of being treated unfairly as I treat others fairly. I am not judicious. I do everything I can for others. Um, Prime has said that I do not have karma. I am close to source as he created me um, as an archangel. Um, are there any guides that are not 100% credible? Well, dear friend, only in your own mind, you see. <laughs> You can talk yourself into or out of anything, as we said earlier. God bless you, dear friend. No one is the victim here. You are all the creator. And forgiveness is the bridge to come back from uh, pain into peace. So, dear friend, what has been said for this one here is true for everyone. You are all sons and daughters of the Most High God, of the creator, of source, of the angels, of beings of light, the higher dimensions, the extraterrestrials, Etc., 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 dear friends. You see, you have not ever been alone or forgotten or abandoned or betrayed. So, dear friend, the, the gift of forgiveness is it gives you permission to come back to innocence, which we're so glad to have a reason to, to bring into this wonderful, enlightened conversation here today. The difference between being a child and being the enlightened adult is a child only knows their innocence, an adult knows many other things. But you see, dear ones, as you take your power back and take responsibility for your life as a creative act and open your heart and quiet your mind and invite your spirit to work with you and through you, then you are filled with inspiration. You do create new possibilities, the course of miracles. Why it's a required course, dear friends, is because you are miraculous. So how could you come back to God until you know your true nature? This is that finishing school for everyone here, dear friends. There are no limitations except those that you believe in. When you recognize that you've given your power away, forgive others, forgive yourself, most importantly, and start again. Come back to innocence, dear friend. God bless you indeed. You understand? Is that helpful, Karen? Yes, it was perfect. Thank you. Thank you. I was speaking on a muted mic. Okay. Um, we we actually do have two questions, but we'll keep them very, very short. This That's is fine, from Krellick. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hi. Krellick, you're up. Okay. Can you speak nice and loud, dear friend? We can barely hear you. Can you hear me now? A little bit better, yeah. Bold and brassy, dear friend, yeah. You're the life of the party. We've saved the best for last. Yeah. I simply Almost know. last. <laughs> I simply wanted to know if there were any guidances from my spirit guides or any messages from them. Dear friend, you're a gentle soul as well here. God bless you. 
And uh, you've had, yeah, talk about the battle was just described here. We know you've uh, had your own version of that. So you're, you're popping your head above the parapet, so to speak, your dear friend, to, to, to ask for a bit of encouragement. And we want to kind of bring things back full circle. And uh, our friend David talked about his homeless friend. And we talked about the Angel of Hope. She'd like to come visit you, uh, dear friend. How do you like that? The Angel of Hope would like to support you in your journey. That would be acceptable, yes. Dear friend, so that is our message to you from your guides, dear friend. Work with hope. Believe in your dreams. Believe in your path. Believe in yourself. Let life surprise you. Dear friend, life is full of wonderful surprises when love is the focus, and that is your gift. Thank you for that. You're welcome. God bless you, dear friend. All is well. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. And Carol, she has the last question. Carol, so. we, we did it, dear friend. Go on. <laughs> yeah, are you there, Carol? Carol, are you there? Oh, maybe she stepped away. Oh, maybe that was the last question. Then maybe Krellick was the last one. Dear friend. Do you have a last question, Karen? Um, no, I don't. Oh, there she is. There she is. Oh, maybe that was the last question. Then maybe Krellick was the last Can one. Can you hear me? Do you have a last question, Karen? Hello. Um, yeah. No, I don't. Oh, there she is. There Carol, you need to mute your. Uh, you need to mute your sound. Can you hear me? Do you have a last question, Karen? Hello. Um, no, I don't. Oh, there she is. Carol, you need to mute your. You need to mute your sound. Hello? Carol, go ahead, dear. We hear you. Hello? Carol, go ahead, dear. We hear you. Hello? Carol, go ahead, dear. We hear you. Okay. Um, I got a message. Hello? Carol, go Carol. ahead. Carol. Oh, you. my goodness. Wait. I got a message. Yes. Sorry. Carol, if you can. Test, test, one, two, three, four. We have a, yeah. we have Carol Hello? muted at the moment. Okay, Carol, are you with us now? Carol? All right. We have, yeah. a, we have Carol Hello? muted at the moment. Okay, Carol, are you with us now? Oh my yes, gosh. I am. <laughs> Yeah, go on, Carol. She doesn't understand because she keeps on muting, and then she has her YouTube playing in the background, okay. so we're getting a really bad feedback okay. loop. Okay. We'll perhaps leave it there for the moment. We'll just give a closing statement if we can, Karen, if that's all yes, right. Please. Yeah? Yes, All right, dear friends. Let's everyone take a deep breath. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's been a beautiful journey, dear friends. You've all shown up here, and our blessings to Carol all as well. Yeah. Dear friends, you're all asking for reassurance that you are on your right path and that everything is unfolding as you've asked for it to, and that there is help, there is love, there is guidance, there is assistance, there is support. The answer to all those questions, dear friend, you know in your heart of hearts is yes. So we're asking you as the brave and beautiful souls here at the cutting edge of consciousness to turn now and face the rest of the world, dear friends, all of humanity with their uh, confusions about spirituality, life in other worlds, the nature of reality, uh, who's in charge, who has power, who doesn't, what's right, what's wrong, dear friends, all of that. We just ask you to uh, send, as we did at the beginning, to close another ray of love and light, dear friends, from your heart of hearts. Take a deep breath. Blessing humanity, the four directions, the four races, the four elements, dear friends, and this world, everyone in it, mineral, plant, and animal. Dear friends, you are the sons and daughters of the Most High God, of God, God is all that is, and life is for you, and this is your time of awakening. You do it through listening, trusting, and following your loving inner guidance. You hear that through going into peace as often and as deeply as possible. When you do this, you co-create with spirit, and what you've asked for comes out of the blue in the way you least expect it, 
better than you've imagined possible, revealing your true nature. This is true for you. It's true for everyone in this world. You're the way showers, the light workers, the map makers, the bringers of a new reality. We celebrate you, dear friends. Be at peace. All is well. Peace and blessings. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, we, thank you. Well, we got there in the end. So we did indeed. We did indeed. We came right up to the top of the hour. So we're we're uh, we're doing very well. Lou, why don't you um, tell everyone if they want to how they can uh, follow you more, get in touch. I did put a card on the YouTube uh, video with a link to your YouTube channel so people mm -hmm. can subscribe to you. But how do they come and see you? There's your information's also in the YouTube. But yes, nice to yes. say it. Yep. Thank you. Yes, great. Thanks, Karen. This was such a joy. Um, everyone can find me either. Uh, the best way is Facebook. If you just friend me on Facebook, um, Lou Martin or Lightheart2012, either way you'll find me. And um, I've got a website. It's loumartin.eu. And I have a 50-page ebook, uh, which is there for four euro. And uh, if you need a free copy, let me know, and I'm, I'm glad to send you one. And um, let's do this thing, guys. We're, we're the A-team. We're in this all the way. We're the winners here. So it's it's time to <laughs> lift it up and uh, take it to the next level. This has been a fantastic day. Thank you. Uh, oh, well, thank you very much from all of our hearts to you and much love to you. And we hope that uh, you'll come back. It's been, I think, for everyone in, has enjoyed it immensely. And it's, it's nice to meet a new friend uh, who's also bringing divine messages to us. So thank you so thank very you. much for that and thank for your you. service, for your service. Thank you for that. Thank you, dear. Thank you. So, yes. So everyone today, I'm just going to switch the, the picture here so I can, to, can yeah. talk. But um, this has been the Saturday uh, Humano, human, <laughs> Humano. It's the Saturday Humano. It's the Saturday Hukalo, uh channeling webinar. And if you want more information about Human Colony, uh, you can go to hukalo.org. Uh, today was a free webinar, but we also have what's called a paid webinar where the seats in the room are only for the paid members. Um, for $10 a month, you not only support the channelers that come because we do, uh, we do give them, um, something for their for their appearance here but also you support the activities of human colony so um, we are opening the membership up to everyone who wants to join it's just ten dollars a month you can find that out on hukalo.org and also coming up in august august 16th through the 21st is the ascension workshop jim and max will be teaching um, they'll be teaching galactic Reiki and channeling, and you can just meet all of your Hukalo friends that you, in your Hukalo family that you haven't met face to face, but we all spend so much time together. So it would be nice to, uh, put a face with a name and a voice, but anyway, so that's on Hukalo.org and you can sign up there. So much love to everyone. We hope Jim will be back next week. Um, he's having a little bit of, uh, an experience with some illness. He's playing with that, but send as much healing as you can and and we will see him next time. So much love to everyone. Namaste. And yeah, see you next time.